my name is Isabella Green. Welcome to Soul Stream Sessions, where I tell stories from out of this world. I don't very often work with Pleiadians for whatever reason. Since the Andromedans came into my stream so strongly, I do interact a lot with the Andromedan um, essences and star seeds, but the Pleiadians have kind of been on the back seat for me since I have processed that uh, part of my own soul uh, out, kind of. I mean, they're always present, but they're not as active in my own stream anymore. And so I don't get to work with people with the Pleiadian essence uh, being predominant very much. However, that is the most predominant presence within the starseed community as we speak. So uh, this week I got um, to work with a very beautiful Pleiadian soul and the channel and that came in was just incredible, so heartwarming, so kind, so sweet. Literally I experienced, we both as me and the clan, we experienced the kindness hearts of the universe. That's what the Pleiadians are. And there is a lot in the channeling. That session was really rich with a lot of information that came in. What I am able to bring you here within the time constraints of whatever 20, 30 minutes that my episodes here are is just a little fractal of what happens in sessions. Sessions are four hours long. Uh, the discussion that follows is 90 minutes. It will barely make it. So I'm only able to bring you the gist of it. I'm going to attach um, most of the channeling that came in, in in this session and also just give you a quick overview now. So this beautiful girl came in saying that she's in a really good place. She's got a wonderful husband. She has uh, her, they work together in their own business. Uh, she's gone through some challenges earlier in her life, but at this point she arrived at a place where she's very comfortable. But she was still interested in expansion and she wanted to reconnect with the essence and her abilities uh, because she felt that she got pulled into work, work, work and 3D stuff and kind of lost connection, which was innate to her since she, the very beginning of her life. She also went through a period of addictions, which is very common for starseed, especially for Pleiadian starseeds. Uh, we're just too sensitive and the, dealing with the world is just too difficult. And there is this innate desire of Pleiadian soul to not hurt anyone's feelings. And so we end up taking upon ourselves too much, trying to please. These are the Pleiadian souls, uh, people pleasers by definition, until they grow and recognize that boundaries are really important. That comes with a whole set of specific kinds of behavior, behavior with uh, uh, the members of the opposite sex, behavior within the family, where people uh, with the Pleiadian souls or Pleiadian, Pleiadian dominance in their uh, soul flow try not to step on any toes by genuinely sacrificing their own selves. And at the same time, there's this constant desire to assist and this constant desire to help these people, whether they're really aware of that or not. And very often it gets to be too much as they take upon themselves that um, constant um, action or that constant function. And so very often they turn to addictions and this is what happened in this particular case too. Also with the Pleiadian souls, it is very common that majority of friendships and majority of Sexual partnerships are just that. They are the people who desperately are seeking this lighter energy, this offering of kindness and healing, quite frankly. And so very often the Pleiadian souls, before they wake up, they engage and are surrounded by vast majority of that kind of people in their lives and then gets to be pretty heavy too. They also tend to incarnate 
into families uh, that are predominantly of vampiric kind. It, I see this over and over and it's just a very uh, kind of common thing. I think the Pleiadian souls have this desire going to come in and I'm going to help this family and I'm going to uplift everyone but then it turns out being that they're just constantly donating their energy uh, before they learn how to set boundaries, before they become aware, or actually when they forget um, in human experiences what it is that they're actually doing. Uh, so they just become this constant uh, donor of energy to the members of their family. So all of the above happened in this particular case, and I was reminded of the Pleiadian souls as I said I have not worked with them for quite a bit as a matter of fact they, they do come in once in a while but for the most part Pleiadians are quite rare in my practice but um, the channeled message that came in was absolutely beautiful you're going to listen to that at the end of, of my video and the kindness and the gentleness and the beauty of the highest self that came in was just breathtaking for me to to experience that energy coming through me and to bring that frequency forth for the client that was so heartwarming and just beautiful Pleiadians are considered to be the parents of the human race and so they did mention that in a bit of detail in this channeling. This client also had the question about how to channel and, and I'm going to keep this entire explanation for you so in case you too are questioning how to channel I think the Pleiadian Essence gave a wonderful explanation of how to channel in this session. She works uh, in the environment where she is constantly offering kind of therapy and uh, her presence and her, and her heart, uh, but at this point time she, the Pleiadians reco um, recommended for her to start being more conscious of what she's doing how and how to bring other elements into what she's already offering they discovered or we discovered through this session that she was an incarnation of a famous actress and it was really cute how the Pleiadian essence which presented herself as a feminine essence to super gentle super feminine gorgeous light uh, being and um, she said that that was her favorite incarnation as a favorite famous actress I prefer not to use the names here uh, just uh, not to create any strangeness on YouTube here but she was one of the famous actresses um, of the 1910, 1920, 1930s, that era and that incarnation the Pleiadian essence said was her favorite and she just loved having the um, ability to experience that kind of life or that kind of incarnation through my client being um, on earth hands-on in the physical and then also another beautiful story that came in here is the connection with the husband uh, the question one of very often my clients come in and they want to know what it is that's that's going on uh, outside of this density with their partners and their significant others and in this particular case the higher self told a really beautiful story we went to medieval England where he fought for her hand in marriage but he didn't have the ranks and the financial riches required to marry her however they did have a really strong heart-to-heart -heart connection and he died in the tournament that he entered for her hand in marriage the truth was that uh, the parents or the family was just collecting the money um, through the tournament and just kind of having that tournament for entertainment however he really believed that he could win that tournament and win her heart in marriage and unfortunately he lost his life during that time but his desire the highest desire of his soul was to be with her be there for her cherish and protect and be that knight in shining armor quite literally for her and he gets to be all that in this lifetime and uh, the uh, chan in the channeling uh, the um, Pleiadian 
aspect spoke about the beauty of that connection and the beauty of uh, and the courage also of uh, them to keep and maintain a relationship and to grow through a relationship because the Pleiadians did say that this is the most challenging way of expansion and but they're not only here to cherish and protect and support each other and grow together but they're also here to uh, kind of poke where it hurts so that they can evolve in their personal development and also evolve the entire modality of relationship to become uh, an inspiring uh, couple a 5d couple uh, that's what they're striving for anyway and so here uh, I just plowed through this whole thing more or less um, now I'm going to bring you the channeled message so you can receive that beautiful heartfelt wonderful energy um, enjoy here it is just for the sake of this recording I'm going to repeat who we're working with we have received the most incredible activating light just now from the Pleiadian essence I observed the being of the very gentle feminine energy super warm gentle heart and the kindest heart of the universe that's the feeling that I'm getting from that being very gentle feminine essence absolutely breathtaking blue core and blue energy of the actual being and that being is surrounded by an auric field that is glowing white light one moment going to tune in oh dear one I am so pleased that you have decided to connect with me today we have been waiting for you for a very long time while you were playing in your human experience many of us come into the human experience just to expand our awareness just to experiment with life and realities that are not available to us as the Pleiadian Collective one of the reasons we as the Pleiadian Collective created the human race and seeded the human race was so that we as the Pleiadian Collective could experience things that we have never been able to experience in our reality correction to that is that we used to be able to experience these things in our reality but since we have advanced and ascended we are no longer able to experience these things and sometimes it makes us nostalgic experiencing human reality through humanity allows us to feel the feelings and live through experiences virtually so to speak while we observe you research you and also operate through human bodies in this particular case you are an extension of me as I have voluntarily delivered my soul into the human experience many centuries ago and I have been living on a human planet in human reality ever since experiencing incarnation incarnation vertically and horizontally in multiple places as the curiosity of my soul which is familiar to you as, as a human right now is insatiable at this time we're fully reconnecting on the energetic plane and I am grateful that I am able now to embrace the part of my own essence that is flowing through your body we have been in contact and assistance to humanity from the very beginning of humanity we are the master geneticists we are the ones who have created 
the human race and place the hidden gems inside your bodies, uh, the DNA from multiple cosmic races that are now getting activated within humanity, bringing humanity to the next level of knowledge of self, next level of understanding of self and understanding of the laws of the universe, creation of the universe, expansion of the universe, the laws of the higher mind that are now becoming familiar to the human race. We applaud you for everything that you have done within your incarnational flow from the very beginning of your time on earth, which literally is applauding to myself, and I find that quite funny right now. My most favorite incarnation that you took, my dear one, was the actress that was known within your reality and a true beauty indeed and you are still carrying the feeling and the imprints from that incarnation I applaud you for the willingness to learn and expand the experience of relationship on this planet as that is the most challenging platform for expansion. A lot of mirroring takes place throughout a relationship a modality. A lot of poking where it hurts so to speak to assist you and him both in moving into the most optimal state of being. Your union is strong and you can teach and learn from each other continuously day after day. He is here to protect you and assist you to move past the traumatic experiences that you went through as a child. He is the one who is devoted to you and will be with you till the rest of your days. You and him are able to create the modality of a relationship, somewhat of an inspiration to the rest of humanity and has no expiration date as you learn to anchor the fifth dimensional reality or the higher consciousness reality into your relationship as well. That relationship would balance itself more and more. You are anchoring the feminine divine and your soul is predominantly feminine and the external representation of the inner masculine is exactly him. Unfortunately, all of the aspects that you have hidden and repressed within yourself are also present within him. And as you are absorbing these aspects back into yourself, bringing them back to life, so to speak, owning them once again, he is going to need less and less to present these externally to you and he is able to step into his own state of being where you are a beautiful poster couple of the 5D relationship. I get to experience all of it through you while you are experiencing it all within the human realm. The ways to unblock is to stop observing yourself as blocked. That is the concept that blocks within itself. Remember that everything is always in expansion and compared to where you used to be, you have g gone a long way now. Channeling is easier than you think. It is just putting in words the telepathic abilities that your heart has. As you tune into any being or any state 
of any consciousness, you experience a feeling, a sensation. Uh, the only thing you need to do to channel is to learn to translate that sensation into words. You literally are channeling and telepathically interacting with everything all the time. Getting your mind out of the way through meditation would assist you and you are already learning and experiencing that as we speak. Your light body has been activated fully as of today and your awareness of that state will grow more and more. Continue with the peaceful meditative practices that are assisting you a lot at this time and that you're becoming familiar with more and more as you start to enjoy that state of being. Be that protector of your own inner child and offer that state of being to that child on a daily basis and your abilities will grow naturally. Practice channeling on your own. Just tune into the feeling and see if you can translate that into words. It might come out in small words or small phrases at first, but do not be discouraged as the natural flow of words will reconnect once your brain reconnects and learns the skill of translating the vibration, the feeling, the energy that's flowing through you into language. This is not necessarily innate to us as we interact exclusively on the telepathic level without using the words like you do on earth. However, you can train your brain to use words for the sake of human understanding and translating of the frequencies that are available to you to be received. One word of caution I would offer you is do not let beings to enter your body. You can telepathically Telepathically interact and receive that telepathic communication and then translate it without having the beings take over your form. We are super active with the channelings on your planet and we are available to be channeled if you wish to channel the Pleiadian Collective or perhaps just myself. With your question regarding to the 12-step program, your intuition is correct as that program is somewhat limiting. It gives the power away to external bigger power and the human beings maintain the sense of helplessness in their situations and the sense that something bigger than them is making their choices and also is there to assist them. Is the core idea that is not too bad, however, it is disempowering to the human beings. I would suggest bringing the idea that uh, that bigger power is also them, that once they reconnect with their own internal inner essence, they gain access to that bigger power which is not a part of other reality but a part of each individual and then each individual can influence the course of their journey through their internal essence, understanding uh, that what we create internally, we experience in externally, and that internal connection is of the 
highest importance for every person the loss of that internal connection or is the main reason for addiction to begin with the need to hide and lose and disown the elements of the internal structure drives people into using substances also the loss of connection with the external love or the external reality but it all comes hand in hand once the people learn how to turn around and face themselves, create the connection with their own internal essence, that connection expands into connection to the essence of the universe. Every single person is carrying within themselves the entire universe folded within this is the message to be brought to the people to stop the disempowerment it is important for your soul to learn to say no if you can gently move yourself into learning how to have boundaries with others as the people pleasing position is no longer beneficial for you we understand that the need to help others and also desire not to hurt anyone's feelings has run your life through the entire course of your life but now it is the time to set boundaries and to learn where your energy is and where the external energy is of course from the higher perspective we're all in oneness and all connected but very often you are influenced by the external energies penetrating your energy field learn to hold your energy field better and gently and lovingly say no to the ones who are after draining your heart as i foresee the beautiful exp expansion from this moment and on you have accelerated yourself and humanity is going through an accelerated upgrade as we speak you will find yourself adding elements of beautiful touches and conscious healing offerings to what you presently do create that modality in balance with everything that you have to offer and it will be a beautiful and interesting structure within which you would enjoy providing and offering and also living and wasn't this wonderful i just get totally i got totally giddy just from that experience once again i hope you enjoyed that very much if you'd like to have a session with me, you can reach me at isabellagreen.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll bring you all kinds of information on this channel. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you next time. Take care now. Namaste.